Welcome everyone. Today we are going to build a circuit to program an AT Tiny 85 with our Arduino. We are going to need the following: some jumper wires, one 10 microfarad capacitor, the AT Tiny chip, a breadboard, and an Arduino. For extra visuals that are not really required, I am going to add three LEDs, one 330 ohm resistor, and some extra jumper cables. Before we start with the circuit build, head over to the Arduino IDE. Open the sketch Arduino ISP from the files, examples and Arduino ISP menus. Verify and upload this sketch to your Arduino. The Arduino software does not natively support the AT Tiny 85, so we need to add support for it. Open the preferences dialog from the file menu. Put the link provided below into the additional boards manager URL. Click OK. Open the boards manager from the tools boards menu. Select the AT Tiny from the list once the software has updated. Note that you will require an internet connection for the AT Tiny board manager to download. Search for AT Tiny either manually scrolling down or typing in AT Tiny in the filter field. Install the latest version. Let's set up the program to use the Arduino as a programmer. Select Arduino as ISP from the Tools Programmer menus. Select AT Tiny from the Tools Board menus. Select AT Tiny 85 from the Tools Processor menus. I'm selecting the 16 MHz internal from the Tools Clock menu. The chip has 8 pins. If you look closely at the chip, you will see a dot. This is pin 1. Pin 2 through 8 follow in an anti-clockwise order around the chip. To program the AT Tiny 85, we are interested in only 6 of them. MISO, MOSI, SCK, Reset, Ground and Positive. We could use this section of the Arduino to hook up the 6 wires to the AT Tiny. Conveniently, the headers on the Arduino are easier to work with. Now we are ready to jump into building the programming circuit. Place the AT Tiny chip onto the breadboard. Connect the ground of the Arduino to the ground rail. Connect the 5 volt from the Arduino to pin 8 of the AT Tiny. Connect pin 4 of the chip to ground. Place the capacitor between ground and another terminal strip. The anode of the capacitor must be connected to ground. Connect the cathode of the capacitor to the reset pin of the Arduino. Connect a lead from the header pin 10 of the Arduino to pin 1 of the chip. Connect Arduino pin 11 to pin 5 of the chip. Connect pin 12 to pin 6 of the chip. And connect Arduino pin 13 to pin 7 of the AT Tiny 85. The programmer will now work, but I'm going to add some LEDs because LEDs are fun to have. Connect the resistor to ground and a terminal strip. Connect Arduino pin 7, 8, and 9 to separate terminal strips. Place LEDs between each of the terminal strips connected to 7, 8 and 9 and to the terminal strip with the resistor. Head back over to the Arduino IDE. First we need to burn the bootloader to the chip. Once that is done, we can upload Arduino sketches to the AT Tiny chip. In a previous video, I made a program specifically for the AT Tiny 85 to control slider electronics. In the Arduino IDE, I'm going to open that now and upload it to my chip. I've placed the chip in the slider and now it slides from left to right. I've hidden and soldered electronics under the roof of the slider unit. I've made the chip accessible so if I need to, I can change the chip or software with ease. In my next video, I'm connecting an LCD screen to the Arduino and making a menu. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more, please subscribe. But that's all from me until the next video. Bye.